We have some plastic melting in this metal can here and we decided to mix together different kinds of plastic. Typically we would just have one kind of plastic, but this time we have everything in there, labels, different kinds of bottles all melting together and there's a pretty good amount in there as well. We're melting this real slow on real low heat. We just have a bed of coals down there and then we have a shield on top so the fumes come straight up instead of coming down where the fire can come back into the container and catch in fire inside of the container. The temperature here is actually low enough I can grab this and just pull it off. The temperature in here is actually low enough if I take a flame in here there's not enough fumes coming out to actually catch it on fire inside of the can. Whenever I dip this in here, I can definitely feel it as a goo, and you can see it's even on the stick. In past experiments, what we've done is taken bottles, separated them out into different plastic types, and then removed the labels, put them in the container, so everything's separate. But this time, we're doing things a little bit different. It's a lot easier. We just put everything in there at once, labels, different kinds of plastic, just to see if it works, and if it does, that would make recycling a lot easier. Each plastic can have a different drip test. All of these combined, it's pretty interesting. Today is pretty still. The wind isn't moving too much. We can see where the smoke is going, but one of these is always a good idea just to keep safe because these are nasty fumes. And we're ready to give it a pour. Grab the other end with a pair of pliers and pour it. Oof. It's almost like a liquid. Wow. That's amazing. I'm gonna get this one here a little bit more level. This one's the most liquidy by far. That's almost like a that's really thin, wow. And we're gonna press a top on top of this one to compress everything and give it a flat surface. By putting a pan on top of this one, it was able to pull a lot of the slag out and you can see that looks a lot more pure. On this other one, we took a pan and then poured some water on top of it, just to help cool it. If we dip this stick into the plastic, we can get an idea of just how deep this is, and that's almost a half inch, probably a little bit more of molten plastic. That's gonna be a nice thick sheet. Now this is all dried and cured. Unfortunately, it did crack, and we think that's due to the pop bottles that were in the mix, the P-E-T-E. -E. It's a bit more brittle, we found, whenever we're working on it, so probably polyethylene or polypropylene is a better casting plastic, but this is still pretty cool, and it I mean, it feels like plastic. It feels like that material and it's pretty hard. And here's the pan with all the slag. It's interesting how that turned out. Um, lots of different colors in there. That's pretty interesting without uh, separating any of the plastics. There's like green plastic and white and these different colors are pretty interesting. What's nice here is, is typically whenever it starts to cool, it shrinks and it'll pop out of the pan, but of course, don't use good pans for this. These are pretty beat up pans we're using. And once this comes out of the pan, yeah, that's a lot of slag in there, but it's, it's a really cool pattern. There is a crack right here, and I think it continues all the way throughout the piece, but I'm curious, maybe drop test it just to see where its strong points are. Maybe the piece with all the slag is gonna be stronger because it has different bits in there to add to its structural. I'm gonna do about a two foot drop test to see where it breaks. Now we'll try about a four foot drop onto the floor. There was some chipping here in the corner, but I mean, for the most part, this brick stayed in its shape. It didn't completely break in half, which is what I was expecting it to do. I mean, this stuff is poured thick and it's actually pretty strong. And then where you look at where it actually sheared off, I mean, that looks like a piece of plastic where it broke, that's kind of cool. I was expecting this one to be a little bit stronger because it seemed to be more pure, but it seems it might be the other way around judging by, yeah, how about that. That is very brittle. I can break it with my hand. It does look like a piece of chocolate though. That's almost exactly spot on. This stuff makes an interesting sound, 
but it's brittle. So it's, it, it's really hard, but it's brittle. The more pure stuff is actually really hard. Whenever I scrape it on this concrete countertop, it almost wants to skate off the concrete. And it's barely grinding any off there. That's pretty interesting. I wasn't expecting those results. I was expecting the stuff that we poured off the slag into here and then poured out that pure clean, the black molten plastic to be stronger. But in fact, the stuff over here with the slag was the strongest in the drop test. Maybe some of that pure stuff settled to the bottom and mixed in with the slag, giving it more structure, but that's a pretty interesting test.